Hey, this is Dr. Dyer, Texas Size Smile. I want to do a quick video on something that we did in dental school years ago, and it's still applicable today. If you tried doing digital impressions, um, you found that it's really difficult to do. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to make a custom impression tray. So the things that you need are some kind of a, a blunt instrument. It doesn't really matter what you use. Um, you need some silly putty, very important. Um, you need tack material. And if you can read that, this is a really great, a great material to use. Um, if you've ever used compound, you know what a pain it is to use. It's something they taught us in dental school that everybody learns to hate. So the first thing is you want to block out the teeth. So you take the silly putty and just pinch some off and wrap it around the teeth really quick. Like this. You don't have to get too fancy with it, but the reason we use silly putty is because it's, it doesn't lose its shape if it's heated up as opposed to wax, plus it's reusable, so it's inexpensive and I like reusable stuff because you're not throwing away money every time you use it. So put that on there and just kind of cover the teeth up. Now, these are probably going to break off, the teeth are, but that's okay because this is not our final impression. All right? Now, if you have a defect you want to cover up and capture it in the impression like this hole that I Right there. So that's basically what you want to achieve there. All right, and then I'll show you how to, there's also use this to make your base plate as well. So these are real money saving things that don't take that long to do. Um, <clears throat> the next step is take your paper towel, put it in the hot water The reason for this is this stuff can get pretty sticky when you uh, when you get it hot. If you have it, you want to keep any excess that you have when you do this because you can reuse it, save you money again. Drop it in, drop it in there. If you want it roughly a scoopful. It works pretty well for just about everybody. And then you get it in here, and these little beads. As they're heating up, you'll see them change color and they'll actually become translucent. And this is what you want to look for. So the water is pretty hot to begin with and it was in there for about a minute. I'd say, and then I got impatient, so I went ahead and, and microwaved it for uh, 30 seconds, as I said. So this is what you want to look for. It's got, it needs to be clear and moldable. So this is a, a thermoplastic material. So it's, it's translucent when it's hot and it turns opaque like this when it's cold. So you'll see it change as it change as the color changes so the idea is to get a relatively even layer of material so what I'll do is start in one place kind of push it around the teeth I want to try to keep it inside the mouth so to speak and I do the front last and I'll show you why is you want any extra material you're going to need to use your to make your handle with so kind of push anything extra up toward the front to make a handle now if you need to rush and get somewhere then um, you can lean this on something like that if you leave it, if you just run away like this, this is gonna go and droop. Kind of a limp biscuit there. So um, the next thing is you wanna, if you wanna do this, you can make a perforated tray 
And like I said, just take a blunt instrument, go through and kind of score the model. You can do this after as well. Uh, I like to do it now and then go through with a, um, like a low speed round burr on a lab uh, drill and drill through the tray, but it's good to have these preliminary holes while it's soft, so you don't have to do as much drilling. <clears throat> you can use the same holes that you created with this and just open them up a little bit after the material is, is uh, hardened once again. Now, if you wanna hurry up the process, you can get some cold water and let it sit for a minute okay but you can see when you put it in cold water it it hardens up pretty quick so if you got a patient chair side and you're making one of these which i've done multiple times because we sometimes we forget or it just doesn't get done but so watch how i i can pull this off while it's still soft just wiggle it off and then peel out your silly putty like that. Just any kind of an instrument. And voila, you have a custom impression tray. So What's cool about this is it's hard. So when you go to the patient's mouth, it'll go right in and it'll go up underneath the vestibule really well. But you can see how important it was to trim the front of this off. Cause look how, look how far that's going up under that lip. To trim the front of this off. Cause look how, look how far that's going up under that lip compared to you can see where that model would have ended right here if I hadn't exposed where all that impression material had squirted up underneath that tight lip. 